I want to stay sober. I want, I want to not be anything like my father. Andrea Stiers says she gave up alcohol and marijuana the day after police knocked on her door with news that she had a half-sister who was murdered by her father. She was four the last time she saw her biological father, Terry Rasmussen, but this case has unleashed new memories. She was, she was a, um, adorable. I didn't remember her, but I do now. She has not been identified yet, but Stiers and her siblings call her Anita Moon. Stiers thinks the child was half Asian and has a theory on why Rasmussen killed her back then, but not Andrea. I think he killed my sister because she didn't look like him. I really can't stand my face sometimes when I look in the mirror because I look like him, you know? It makes, it's hard. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Steyer says her mother banned them from asking about her father after he disappeared. Obviously, my dad was mentally ill and addicted to alcohol. There needs to be laws to protect children from their drug addicted and mentally ill parents. Steyer's has four adult children, and she says they're embarrassed and upset by the news that Rasmussen, their grandfather, is the Bear Brook killer. My kids, yeah, they're, they're ashamed, you know, they don't want anybody necessarily to know, but that's not, that's not um, their shame. They did not do it. Yeah, that's what I told them that you didn't do it. Now Stiers is on a mission. I'm putting an effort into changing things for little girls like my sister. And um, that's probably the best that I can do with a tragedy. Steyer says she sees a therapist now and does take an antidepressant to help her cope with all of this. The family has requested the remains of their half-sister for a dignified burial, but investigators say that will have to wait until all the forensic testing is complete. Live in studio this evening, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.